Hi everyone. In my last video, I introduced myself to you and explained what I plan to do on this channel. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to get around and make those adventures happen when I plan on going out for more than just a day trip. So here's my new travel trailer. When I purchased it, I really wasn't thinking of having my own YouTube channel. I just wanted to get out and explore. And after years of tent camping, I thought that I'd make things a little bit more convenient and have a few nice amenities for myself on longer excursions without having to stay in hotels. So I looked into travel trailers. I did have a few major criteria that I wanted to concentrate on and that of course limited my options. First I wanted something that I could pull with my current truck. Next I knew I'd be going into some areas and national parks that have limitations on how big of a trailer they can accommodate so I wanted to keep it small. I was also concerned that since this was going to be my first trailer, I did want to keep safety in mind, so I decided that I only wanted to look at trailers that had dual axles in case of any tire issues down the road. Some other things that I thought were important if I were going to spend the money on the trailer would be to have a nice bathroom with a larger shower, a large kitchen with a good sized counter and lots of storage. So after looking for over two years, visiting multiple dealers, and going to numerous RV shows, I ended up deciding on this trailer. Now here's my review. I hope you enjoy. Okay, everybody, today we're gonna to do a review on our 2022 Forest River Surveyor Legend 203 RKLE travel trailer. We purchased this trailer about eight months ago and have used it about 10 times throughout the camping season this year. Just wanted to go through some of the features and let you know what we think about the trailer. Uh, first of all, it's about 25 feet long and weighs just over 5,000 pounds, and it's easily towable by my Chevy Silverado 1500. So as we get up to the front of the trailer, we will see that it has a power tongue jack, two 20 gallon propane tanks and a battery with a shutoff switch. Uh, it has the curved front window and storage unit uh, underneath. We have the stairs that fold up into the unit. Uh, on this side we have two 110 outlets right here and a cable jack. Over here we have a water port that we will see later uh, how that works with the outdoor kitchen in this unit. This, this is the access panel for the outdoor kitchen. Uh, we also have as we come around to the back side comes equipped with the ladder to access the roof. This, this particular unit came standard with an 80 watt solar panel which will run the refrigerator and the lights um, on the inside and it will also do the awning and will do the slide in and out comes with a spare tire standard on the opposite side you have your electric connection your city water connection this unit comes with a black tank flush uh, standard and another cable uh, outlet here. We also had the dealer install an outdoor shower here so that we could make use of that if we were at the beach and we wanted to shower off before we went inside the unit. The slide on the left side contains the dinette on the inside of the unit. Plenty of windows all the way around. The other feature that we really were looking for in a travel trailer of this size was a dual axle trailer, which this has. We were concerned about safety if we had a tire blowout and we wanted to have the dual axles. So we definitely got this trailer. That was one of the reasons that we got the trailer. Here's the other side of the pass-through storage compartment underneath. And I think that's it for the for the outside. 
very nice trailer. The graphics are very nice. Uh, windows are pretty well tinted. And we, so far we are really enjoying this trailer. And miraculously, by the power of YouTube, we ha now have an outdoor kitchen. We have our water spigot that we talked about earlier. We have a slop basin. And we have our griddle. In addition, we have a dorm size outdoor refrigerator for all of your beverages. You don't have to go inside of the trailer. Very convenient. One thing I did notice though is when there's inclement weather, you have to be careful because right above you is one of the gutters and it drips right down on to the griddle. So be careful of that. Okay, now let's go inside and see what's on the inside of the trailer. As we initially enter to our immediate right, we have a sofa. And on each side of the sofa, we have a countertop with the built-in cup holders and storage uh, on each side and also below the sofa. On each side of the sofa, there is also a 110 outlet and a USB port for charging your phones or your tablets or games for kids. Um, so if we look back here, you see the jackknife sofa with the Murphy bed above. We have storage wardrobes on each side of the bed uh, for your hanging clothes. Uh, pretty good size wardrobes on each side. Okay. And then additionally up above the Murphy bed you have more storage. Uh, so you have plenty of room for clothing or coats or blankets, whatever you might need when you're camping. As we pan over to the left here, here is our dinette, uh, which obviously converts into uh, an additional bed if you have guests come over. Um, there's a nice light fixture right above and We'll go towards the back now and the left side, which contains our kitchen area. Um, above the countertop, we have a 32 inch TV, which is on a swivel, so, which can be viewed from the bed or the sofa or the dinette. We have about 12 feet of counter space, which is huge in a trailer of this size and plenty of storage, uh, both drawers and doors for larger items. Uh, we have a pretty good size farm sink to do your dishes, good enough to even scrub pots and pans uh, without any issues. Um, to the right of that we have our Greystone three burner stove and oven. You can see the burners there. And then we have uh, our oven below. We've only used the oven one time, but it did seem to work well, so it should be a bonus for future travels. Um, in addition to the stove, what Surveyor has done is they've given us a nice backsplash behind the stove to keep down on uh, grease splatters on the walls. And also they have behind the stove, they have uh, slots for storing knives and also a cup holder or a cup here that actually is used to store utensils for when you're cooking. Um, up above we have a gray stone microwave, more cabinetry. Um, the cabinet here in the corner has more pull-out drawers on this side but as you go towards the rear there's uh, that's where the outdoor kitchen is stored underneath of that counter. So we just typically use that counter space for a toaster or a coffee pot so we can make use of that area. Um, and then more cabinetry above. We have a 10.7 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. Uh, full size, very nice for this size trailer. Um,
Okay. If we go into the bathroom next, just to the right, uh, we're gonna go in and again for this size trailer, pretty decent size bathroom. We have a 36 by 30 uh, shower. Uh, one upgrade that we did do was we uh, swapped out the shower head for a uh, home medics shower head that has a, a better flow than the one that came with the trailer. Um, just as you enter, you're going to have a decent size sink basin with counter space on both sides. Um, below the counter, you have your controls for your water heaters, both gas and electric, and the indicator lights for your gray and black tanks. To the right you have an additional 110 outlet and you have a linen tower for storing anything you might need in the bathroom. Uh, they also provide us with uh, three towel hooks or robe hooks above the toilet here which is a porcelain foot flush toilet. Uh, there's ample space to the sides and in the front of the toilet so no problems there. Uh, we have a nice size medicine cabinet with uh, your toothbrush holder built in and ample storage for anything you might need in a medicine cabinet. Up above it comes with a vent with a ceiling fan to keep the moisture and humidity down when you're taking a shower something that's very important here. So we pan back to the front and we see the front of the trailer. So now we're going to stop the video and I'm gonna lower the Murphy bed so you can see what that looks like. Okay, here is the front of the trailer with the Murphy bed uh, lowered. Um, it's a true 60 by 80 queen, so a good size for two people to sleep on. Um, additionally, there is a cubby on each side of the mattress for additional storage and on each side of the mattress up, up at the head there is an additional USB outlet again for charging items and there's also a cup holder in each side. A nice window above so if you want to view the stars at night you can. Okay, I'm going to give you one more view with all of the storage options that you have available to you. Again, storage on both sides and underneath of the sofa, wardrobes on both sides of the Murphy bed, and additional storage up above. As I was saying, the dinette has ample storage underneath of both bench seating. Um, they have a lift top so that you can access the entire storage area as opposed to having a, a door on the end of the uh, bench seat. Much more convenient to access things that you have stored in there. Uh, the kitchen area, again, below the cabinetry, you have plenty of room to store pots and pans, uh, drawers for silverware, uh, any other kitchen items you might have, hot pads, things like that. Uh, under the sink we have uh, room for both a trash can and a recycling bin um, and more drawers on the right hand side for d additional utensils and things like aluminum foil and stuff like that that you might want to bring with you. Up above we have plenty of storage for food items and over here to the side of the microwave this is where we store dishes, pots, uh, bowls, cups, anything like that that we might need for food prep. Uh, again, a huge amount of storage. In addition, we have the Bluetooth radio with indoor and outdoor speakers, which is a nice uh, touch for the trailer. So when you're outside at night, you can uh, listen to the to the music. And we have. Additionally, a 15,000 BTU air conditioner and heating unit. So we've taken this trailer out in uh, temperatures down to the mid-30s and we're completely comfortable in the trailer. So uh, it's well insulated and with the heat 
and the AC, uh, no problems. All right, one last thing I wanted to show you was that if you are driving down the road and you have the slide pulled in, you are still able to access the entire trailer, which is something that not all trailers have that option. Um, you're certainly able to access anything in the kitchen, cabinetry wise, you can easily get to the refrigerator. And of course you can get into the bathroom if you need to. Um, lastly, wanted to show you that even with the slide pulled in, you are able to lower the Murphy bed. So if you ever had a need to stop in the night at a Cracker Barrel or Bass Pro Shops, you certainly can do so. And you do not have to push your slide out. You still will be able to make full use of the Murphy bed. So that I thought was a really nice feature as far as this trailer goes. All right, I hope that was informative and that you got to see the an entire trailer. If you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. Uh, the next time I put out a video, we're actually going to be at a campground with the trailer and we're gonna put it into action. So let's uh, meet up again because you never know what you're gonna find next when you get out and explore with John.